Hey farm hands, Farm Bear Reef here. Welcome back to another episode of the Phoenix 700. As you guys can see behind me, I have the 700, uh, it's all built. So it went really well. I had my buddy bend over. We end up putting it all together. So as you guys can see, so the measurements for the tank were 108 inches long, 36 inches wide, and 40 inches high. I'm 6'2", so you guys can see just the top of the tank is better at my head. So, because I'm so tall, I wanted to have a high tank. I don't want to be bending over looking into it. I wanted my main display to be right where I'm looking. So it turned out really well. So I went with a three-quarter glass all the way around. As you guys can see, I have the stand all built. Um, I made sure uh, I put a piece of foam underneath my tank. So if anything, uh, any perfections that unlevel, the water and weight will settle out the tank and level it itself. So that's what it's all about. So it turned out really well, guys. So I ended up uh, painting um, three panes. The two sides where the overflow boxes are in the back of the tank as well. So it's all painted nice uh, black and I'm using the acrylic paint, as you guys can see. Um, the silicone I used, this is the silicone I used. I went with the black. This is the, the SC, uh, SC 1200 from GE. It's construction grade. Um, it's black, as I said. So it sets up really fast. It's a great silicone, guys. I end up with a really nice bead all the way around. I'll show you guys some pictures of me and Ben putting it all together. It was, uh, each pane was about 200 pounds to lift it. So two guys trying to put this whole tank together and make sure it was square. Uh, you guys can see I just have some uh, wood on here. It was helping uh, brace it and hold it all together. But I'll take you guys for a little tour. So this is just the bare bones of the tank. I just want to show you before I do all the stand, all the mill work, the canopy, that this is what the tank looks like right out of the gate. I want to show you guys what's been going on. Um, so, these are, remember I'm going to be running uh, the Hydra uh, 52 HDs on the tank. I just took them all down right now because I had to get inside it. Didn't want to bang these droplets in the tank at all. It wouldn't be a good idea. So that's them. I'm going to get them placed all back up again. They're a great uh, LED. So I did the two, I'm going with the two overflow boxes on the end. So I ended up going with the uh, eShopee's Eclipse. As you guys see this is a pretty, uh, it's a really nice overflow box. Comes in two pieces. So this piece goes inside the tank. And then you guys can see the clear part. This is where there are about three one inch drains on here. It comes with a really good kit. It even comes with uh, the diamond uh, bit hole saw. If you have, want to go drill through your glass, you can do it yourself. That all comes in. That's about like 170 bucks. And it's a great price because all, the, all these bulkheads just and the, the hole saw, it all, it all adds up. But it's awesome. And see, it has a removable door on the back, on the back like that. So I'll show you where these are going to fit in. A little bit later so those are some of the components so I'm just gonna take you guys for a little tour what's going on here um, so I did the math how much sand I'm gonna need I want to go at least with like four inches of sand I want to get a whole bunch of different kinds of uh, critters that love to go in the sand so I want it really deep so I need about 31 bags of sand so it's definitely gonna add up um, I got 500 pounds of uh, Marco's rock too that's going in here and I'm gonna do a video with you guys my brother's coming over I'm going to get inside the tank and we're going to build it together in there. I think that's the best way. Um, I still have to put my Euro bracing around the top. It's just I want to make sure I can get in there myself. Like I said, I'm 6'2", I'm over 200 some pounds. I want to be able to fit in there, make sure everything's... Uh, I'm going to use uh, E-Marcos 400 as well to bond everything together. Put a couple flat pieces down and make sure and uh, weld that right to the bottom of the tank so it doesn't fall over and your fish can't get underneath it. So you always want to make sure to put your rock down first then put your sand. You don't want any of the gobies or anything that like to burrow. You get under the sand and you don't want your rock toppling over. So that's the plan. But one of the hardest parts is what kind of aquascape you want to go. You can build it in your head, but then you got to try to place it and build it in your tank. And that's what it's all about. You want something that's really pleasing to the eye. But looking forward to it. It's going to be awesome. And then um, I got all the other gear too that's uh, down in the, the fish room as well. Can't wait to show you guys and what uh, pumps I'm going to be running in here. Pretty excited to show you. So it's going to be awesome, this build, but I just want to show you, this is this is just the bare bones of it, guys, so you guys can see. She's pretty massive, and I can't wait to fill her up, so that'll be the next thing coming up as well. So let's just come close. I'll, we'll walk around. We'll check out the tank, all right? All right, so just take a little tour. So as you can see, this is how much room I had to, I wanted to put. I would have went full size, but I only have so much room to do with overflow boxes. So if you look in the side here, you see those two holes right there? So that's where the overflow box is going to go. And then all my plumbing comes out the back. It's gonna go down through here. And you guys, sorry, I got some wood down here you can't see, but I have uh, openings for all the plumbing to go down through. And then that's where it's gonna go down into the basement. Um, if you look here, you guys can see. So there's an inner 
inner glass ring. So it's almost like another frame. So it gives it a couple sides for uh, all your silicone to bond to, give that extra support. So I end up building that all the way around inside. Sorry for the glare guys, pretty shiny. And then back to the other side, you can see here again, see the holes right there? That's where the next, the other overflow box is gonna be going. So we get you right up, so you're right inside the tank now. See that? And then you guys can see that's the hangers for uh, the hydras that's going on there. So I got five of them, but I still have to do all my uh, Euro bracing around the top. But I want to make sure it went in. So yeah, it's all three-quarter glass. Awesome. So it's really coming. I can't wait to get the, the aquascape going and start getting this uh, water in here. But after that, we'll just start. We're going to do all the plumbing together. We're going to mount all the overflow boxes, do all the plumbing. It's going to be all red by the time we're done. And then I'll get my buddy back. We're going to do all the mill work together. See how it's all going to turn out. All right, Barn Hands, so that's a little bit of a tour of the 700 so far, how it's coming. I can't wait to show you some more updates. I just want to show you the bare bones. But I got a lot of sweet gear. Can't wait to do some unboxing. I want to show you my return pump. This thing's a beast. I can't wait to fire it up and see how well it works on here. It's going to be a learning experience for me as well. A lot of these new gears, like the pumps that's going in here, is pretty awesome. So this is going to be a long journey, guys, of building this tank to last. So a whole bunch of have the old Coral Friday videos coming up. We're going to learn. It's going to be awesome whole bunch of different learning uh, processes so thanks for tuning in this week guys really appreciate it stay tuned for the next video can't wait to show you so please subscribe and hit the like button